Good evening and welcome to Sunday Evening Vespers. I'm reading a little article I wrote entitled Circuit Rowing Preacher. And uh, this story was told to me by this uh, particular preacher's grandson. And uh, I put it in on paper and uh, it goes like this. Parson Washburn loaded his family into the belly of their little wooden rowboat and started off across the harbor to the next town. The voyage would be interesting, but at least he was not fighting the cold northeastern winds as he had last Sunday. Today, fog as thick as pine log smoke hung over the glassy surface of Maine's salty coast. Navigating by instinct, he soon became lost in the mental rehearsal of the message. The laughter of unseen gulls was the only sound to interrupt the rhythm of the oars. That is, until his youngest called softly from the bow, Daddy, do you know where we are? With a chuckle and a pause, he answered, Aye, we're in the water, somewhere between Bath and Brunswick, I suppose. He really was not exactly sure where they were, but he was not worried either. After all, he had rowed the same circuit every Sunday for many years. He rowed amidst the gale and calm through winter ice and summer humidity. He rowed from little preaching point to little preaching point, four and all every week. He rowed with numb fingers, blistered hands, and aching back. He rowed against the wind and coasted in its path. He rowed against uh, all kinds of obstacles. He rode uh, because people were waiting to hear good news. Life on the coast of Maine in the 1880s could be as rough as her rugged shores. And so he rode to share the story of God's amazing grace. In the gospel according to Luke, the word of the Lord says, do not be afraid for see, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all people. Is there anything keeping you back from sharing the good news? It certainly didn't keep Pastor Washburn back. Wherever you go, look for the opportunity and share the good news. Heavenly Father, we have good news. Help us not to forget that and help us to share the gospel with folks we meet here and there. And sometimes, Lord, you may even send us to places but we would never go otherwise because someone there needs to hear the gospel of Jesus. Help us to be proclaimers of this really good news. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.